Greetings viewers, I am Eric the Car Guy. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Nope, over here, over here, I'm here. My eyes are over here, stop, stop. Hello, <laughs> here on the ETCG1 channel, we start things off with, hey, if it is your birthday, happy birthday, please enjoy this digital cake. I will now remove the digital cake so you can go back to staring at the 2000 Integra Type R that is sitting behind me. Yay! Oh, okay, so I'm a little bit giddy. Um, but yes, this is my, this is mine, this 2000 Acura Integra Type R. It's for real, it's legit, it is a Type R and it was a one owner Type R. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about how I ended up with this car. Now, in another Eric the Car Guy video, I'm gonna do a proper introduction, go over the car and show you all the little bits, all the things wrong with it, all the things I plan to fix and all that, and give you close up looks at this. But just in this video alone, I'm, I'm just, well, I'm sharing the story, like I said, of how I ended up with this. I have one person to thank for this, or we have one person to thank for this, and that is Matt Slocum. Matt Slocum is the one that sent me a link to the buyatrailer.com link to this uh, car auction. So this, this car was set up for auction on buy a trailer. And he's like, Eric, I know you're into these, and sends me the link, and I look at it, and I'm like, oh, yeah, that's awesome. But, you know, there's no way I can afford this. I, I'm into all these other cars. There's, there's just no way. Uh, but, man, thanks so much for sending it. Hey, hey wait a minute. This, this car is in Cincinnati. This, this car is local. <laughs> so buy a trailer, if you're not familiar with, is, is an auction site where, I don't know if it's worldwide, but it's certainly North America, to where you can post your vehicle on there and bring a trailer, bring a trailer, I'm sorry, bringatrailer.com. Anyway, so it's an online auction house that basically just auctions off cars, and they're usually special cars like this one. So I'm looking at it, and this is like four or five days before it ends, and like I said, I figure out it's local, and I'm looking through some of the pictures, and not only is it local, but I see some of the work orders for the work that was done that they had pictures of. It was sold from the dealership where I used to work, and serviced there for many, many years. So I remember this car, and you know, if there was an Integra Type R in the shop, I, I would sniff it out, trust me. But the way we had it set up at the dealership was there were two teams of technicians, two teams of four, and the other team was in charge of this car. So the way it kind of worked out with cars like this is when a customer came in, they, they got the same people working on their car each time, you know, especially customers like this. So I'm looking at this, and like I said, it's local. I'm like, man, this is cool. Well, if nothing else, why not go out and see it? It's only a half hour away. So I asked my, young, my youngest son if he wanted to go and check it out and we drove out there on a weekend and looked at the car and drooled over it and got to know the owner and you know had nice conversations about stuff, about people that I knew at the dealership and like that. And so we, we had a good rapport going. And then I left thinking, well, that's, that's the last I'll see of it. It's, it was nice to see it. We'll uh, just sort of see what happens. I'll keep an eye on the auction. Well, the more I thought about it, the more I'm like, you know, it's a black car. <laughs> <laughs> and if you hadn't noticed by now, if, if the vehicle is black and I'm looking at it, it's, there's a very high probability I'm going to end up with it. I don't know what it is about me and black cars, because I'm the guy that doesn't wash my cars. Why do I have all black cars? <laughs> so I, I talked to my wife and I said, you know what, it, can I like take money out of our savings, 15000 to be specific, uh, to bid on this car? Like I said, at the time, the auction was for nine, and that's where I put my, my mind. I, these cars are going for 29000 easy. That's like the average price of these things all day long. They're unicorns. They're, we'll talk about that in a minute. But So I talked to her, and, and she agreed. She said, like, okay, you know, it's totally cool. So big ups to my wife for, for going along with me on this. And she knew that I'd wanted one of these cars for a really long time and all that. And was seriously. Hats off to her. Anyway, I knew that I, that would be my cap as far as what I would bid for this auction. So I'm looking at the numbers go up and they, they're going up on the last day and it got up to 14,000 and some change. And I'm like, oh, I'm, it's, there's still a chance. Somebody had sent me a link previously uh, for another Type R like a year or so ago that I was checking out and I signed up for Bring a Trailer. So all my information was in there and I thought all I needed to do was bid. So anyway, it gets down to the end of the auction and I'm sitting there, I'm like, all right, it's 14,000 and some change. I can do 15,000 towards it. And I'm like, yes, like here I go. And I wait down to the last few seconds and I click to bid and it comes up and it says, we're sorry, your credit card information is out of date. And I'm like, no. So after frantically trying to put in my credit card info, and this was only a few seconds left in the auction, I wasn't able to put it in at a time. And I look at it and it comes up and that $14,000 bid 
did not meet the reserve. It said reserve not met. And I'm like, there's a chance! <laughs> because I'd gone out and talked to the owner and, and I could text her, I texted her directly and said, so you saw you didn't meet your reserve, sorry about that. Will you take 15,000? Long pause. She comes back and she says 21,000. And I'm thinking maybe that was the reserve that they set because it wasn't, this one isn't top of the mark as far as you know the quality level of the car. But still, like I said, average price of these 29 grand. And I'm thinking, well, that's not unreasonable, but I can't afford that. So I'm thinking, all right, I could throw in a couple of thousand from my money and see if I can put that in there or, or out of the business, so to speak. And I countered with 17. And I waited and I waited and I waited. And I'm assuming she was communicating with the other buyer or whatever, the other potential buyer. And she took it. She said, okay. And I'm like, yes, 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 yes. I'm dancing around. I'm just like giddy. I, I could not believe. I, seriously, I'm sitting here now and I know it's behind me, but it doesn't feel real. It still doesn't feel real. I drove it home yesterday. My, my youngest son went with me in the silver GSR to go pick it up. We brought his sister also. So my son and my daughter went with me to go pick the car up. It was great, you know, so here I am driving the Type R and I'm looking in the rearview mirror and there's the GSR, my son's driving it. It was, it was a moment, it was a moment, okay? Had a moment, it was freaking wonderful. But here I am on the other side of all this with this Type R sitting here from the dealership where I used to work, one owner car, next to the GSR, which was also one owner car from the dealership where I used to work. So there's some kind of weird connection there that's happening. I don't mind, I mean, I, I, f I feel like I've benefited from this, but, <sighs> That's the story. Now, as I said, or might have said, I'm going to do a full walk around and show you this car in depth and up close and in detail uh, in an Eric the Car Guy video. I'm not doing that here. I just wanted to share the story about how I ended up with it, which is awesome. So thank you, Matt Slocum. Thank you, wife, for you know being there and allowing me to do this because you know I'm going to make it work. Because by the time I'm done, I'm hoping to double my money. That's, that's my hope. But whether or not I'm going to sell it, hmm, I don't think so. Not anytime soon. And then if I'm to a point where I'm done with the car, I'm sure my kids will be, you know, vying for it. So good luck. Good luck to you if you're like, Eric, I'll buy that car from you right now. No, it's not going to happen. Just give up right now. I have plenty to do with it, as I'll talk about in that other video on Eric the Car Guy. Anyway, that's the story of how I ended up with my 2000 Integra Type R. Uh, I love it. I love it. Anyway, <laughs> uh, if you have questions, uh, automotive questions, ericthecarguy.com, that will be linked down in the description along with other videos and things about Integras or what, just others. Check the description. There'll be additional junk there if you're interested and you got time or whatever. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with the world. Appreciate that. When you do that, appreciate it. Helps me do things like buy Type R's and give you cool videos on Type R's. Think about that. Think about that. Be safe. Have fun. Stay dirty. Thank you so much for watching today, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.